This uh, program was developed by NETA as part of a program to train GPs uh, in accessing the PCEHR from their software. Uh, they've got most of the bundles on board, Best Practice, Communicare, Genie and Medical Director, which are the commonest uh, programs. Uh, I went through the program in Best Practice. Uh, when you open the Best Practice module within the uh, NETA training package, uh, you'll notice you've got just the main screen here with, uh, with the start screen there. If you look down here uh, on the right, you'll find that there's uh, a number of uh, items, the view clinical documents in the health record, access prescription dispense view. Uh, you click on your best practice icon, that takes, brings up the screen. Okay, now the, the patient, once you've brought up your screen, we're looking for a patient, uh, Caleb Derrington. So there's Caleb. Go into his clinical records. If you want to have a look at the documents that have already been uploaded, you click on the PCEHR button. Uh, this is provided your patient's been registered and he's had previous information uploaded, uh, which we have in this case. So if you go in here, we've now got a discharge summary from a hospital, specialist letter, dispensing record, e-health prescription record, e-referral. So uh, this one's been preloaded. So in my case, usually I want to read discharge summaries and past history. So this is the format that these documents have been set online. If you go here, the medications on discharge, which are probably the most used to us as general practitioners. Uh, you've also got uh, higher up on the screen, you've got provisional diagnosis, which in this case is fractured left uh, femur neck of, mild concussion and a pin and plate at surgery. Uh, so we have the, di the event, the diagnosis, all basically within that record. Now to get back to your main, uh, your main menu there on the PCHR is the specialist letter there. And we can pull that up and again this is another letter uh, with the medication uh, and information from Dr Charlie Fletcher from Arafura, Brisbane. Hmm. And he's asked that Caleb should return in six months. He's had a referral f from his GP for a regular eye check. So to go back to the, your main screen, you use the little door there, and we're back at the main screen. To get out of that program, you just close it down. Now, if we've got uh, some notes here today that we've made, patient presented uh, for medication for his medications and review. I've gone on to the medications and the patient uh, is on a number of medications here. You can inquire whether the patient's still on these. He's on a number of medications. Uh, we've confirmed that he's all on these. Um, so we can save, save that. Uh, I want to put now his patient's summary now if you want to print it you can go to the you can go to the file uh, and print health summary which will give you a written summary uh, but a preferable way uh, for us here is to actually upload it so you click on the PCEHR and we uh, click on shared patient summary and this is the context that we get the summary if you want to take any of the particular items off, if, for example, he didn't want to be known, uh, he didn't want it on his record that he'd been depressed, I haven't found a problem with this. Uh, you could actually click on that and that'll take it out of the summary. Uh, some patients mightn't want information, uh, terminations of pregnancies and other issues. So you then once you've reached that, made sure what you want, you click the upload button, click on upload, uh, and there we have the shared health summary was successfully uploaded. Uh, so we've now got it. Now if you want to check that that has been uploaded, you go to your PCEHR uh, uh, tab, click on that.
So it's really very simple uh, and that's basically gives, gives you that. And uh, anyone who wants to access this information just has to go on board and they can do it.